In this section, you will extend what you learned from the last section. Instead of two equations and two variables, you will have three or more equations and variables. Nonetheless, the logic and method of solving is the same. You're going to first identify variables, then you're going to formulate equations. Each resource or demand will get one, and you solve the system. Let's go ahead and look at an example. So here you can read this through and pause it, but I'm not actually going to read it. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to how to solve this. First, you want to identify the variables. And here are some quotes from the problem. It says, how many gallons of each type of ice cream should the shop make? When you see how many should be made, this is a hint that directs you to the variables because you're trying to decide something. How many should you make? And here it says gallons of each type of ice cream. So here you can see each type of ice cream is going to be your variable. And what are they actually? So you can see there each type of deluxe vanilla, each gallon of regular vanilla, each gallon of deluxe chocolate. So these three are our variables. And arbitrarily, I've assigned them to X, Y, and Z. Now we can formulate the equation. This is a resource problem. So as I've said, each resource gets its own equation. Here, so here, milk, cream, vanilla, and cocoa on the rows. And then here you have X, Y, Z on the top. And that's going to equal to what you have. Here's a quote from the problem again. Each gallon of deluxe vanilla, which is X, uses two quarts of milk, two quarts of cream, and three ounces of vanilla. So here I simply fill down for the X column, two for milk, two for cream, and three for vanilla. And then vice versa for Y and Z, three quarts of milk, one cream, two vanilla, here for deluxe chocolate, 3.5 milk, 0.5 cream. 5 cocoa. And then now you set it equal to what you have on hand. And here's a quote from the problem. The shop has on hand 158 gallons of milk, 6, six gallons of cream, 20 pounds of vanilla, and 35 pounds of cocoa. Here you have to really pay attention to the units. Because sometimes they try to trick you and use different units than what's on the left hand side. And the left hand side and the right hand side, the units must match, or you can set an equal sign to them. So here you have 158 gallons of milk. And here on the left, you have 2 quarts, 3 quarts, and 3.5 quarts. You can convert the quarts to gallons, but I think it's easier to convert the gallons to quarts. And you do that by multiplying the gallons by 4 to get the quarts. And similarly, you will do the same thing for the cream which is also in quarts on the left and in gallons on the right. For vanilla and cocoa, on the left, we have the units in ounces, where we have on the right in pounds. Again, it's easier to convert the pounds to the ounces instead of the other way around. So we're going to take 20 times 16, because one pound has 16 ounces and then 35 times 16. Some of the units you, you might not actually know beforehand. On the test, they should give it to you. And if they don't, you can probably ask. They are not trying to test you on whether you know how to convert units. Of course, Americans have to be different and use ounces and pounds and quarts instead of kilograms and milligrams. Anyway, OK, so now you solve the equations. So here are our equations as represented on the table. Basically, these, these are the things on the left-hand side, and then you set it equal to the thing on the right-hand side. So you might not be able to solve this right now at this point. However, we're not going to worry about that for now. Instead, you're going to learn a new method of solving system of equations called row reduction right now. The very first step of row reduction is representing system of equations in matrix form. So this is the single easiest thing you're going to need to learn how to do in Finite. Let's take that system from our previous example right here. 
now we put it in augmented matrix form. All that means is you have an X column here, Y column here, Z column here, and constant column here. And you just put the number 2 for here, 3 for here, 3.5 for here, 632 for here. I think I don't have to explain any further. 